Alright, now for some reason, a guy like Marcus Peters, who's 25, and a fucking superstar will get traded for a fucking fourth and a fifth, I think. And, I mean, that's why. In the NFL, like, this isn't like, you know, any other sport. Like, he, if a guy like that is available, it actually means he's available. You know, you fucking get him. It's not that hard. And I have no fucking clue why the Raiders would ever want to trade Khalil Mack. He's young. He's a superstar. He's your only really great defensive player. And you want to fucking trade him for some reason? Like, John Gruden thinks he's expendable? Like, what the fuck? Are you retarded, man? You've been away for a while, I think, because you're fucking retarded. There's no way Khalil Mack should be on the fucking trade block. That's, like, the most ridiculous fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. And, you know, considering the NFL, I've seen... Lately, Marcus Peters go for, like, a fucking, well, whatever. I think they give up a third, a fourth, and a fifth, and a first for Brandon Cooks, fucking Aqib Tlaib, and Marcus Peters. Like, if it was Madden, that shit would be at, like, the red on the far left. Like, there's no way that would work, and... I don't know, the Jets want Khalil Mack. If I'm the Jets, I'm like, here, take a fucking first-round pick. I don't give a fuck. We're not going to find someone like that in the first round. And if I'm the Packers, I'm like, holy fuck, I'll give you, like, half of our draft picks because I think if the Packers can get Khalil Mack, (laughs) man, because... The secondary was always the problem, but the secondary won't be so much of a problem with Khalil Mack there. Uh, let me tell you, holy fuck, Aaron Rodgers on one side of the ball, you know, you don't need to worry about shit there, but Khalil Mack on the other side of the ball, you're like, now nah, you're fucking chilling, and the D-line is still really good, too, the D-line was never the problem, you just need that guy who can replace Julius Peppers, and I mean, that's more than replacing, that's fucking upgrading, and Man, I mean, I think the Raiders, man, I feel so bad for Derek Carr. This guy fucking, finally they're good. He lost, what, his first, like, eight games or some shit. They finally are good. Finally, they have a great season, but he breaks his fucking leg. All right, and then the next season, they suck again. And now... You know, they're trading Khalil Mack, trying to trade him, which is fucking so ridiculous. I can't even, like, like, if John Gruden wants to win, do you honestly think not having him will win? Like, you look at any team that's won the Super Bowl, they always have that guy. And if it's not that guy, they have those guys who are a fucking amazing pass rush. The Eagles, Fletcher Cox and Brandon Graham were fucking coming at you. The Patriots are, you know, a little weird because they're an exception, but... The Broncos, we all know fucking Von Miller's, how much trouble that guy causes. You know? Fucking... The Seahawks had all those, you know, Cliff Averill, Michael Bennett, K.J. Wright, all those guys coming at you. Like, there's never a team without a a fucking pass rush. And I just... If you're any team in the NFL, I'm like, hey, second and third round pick, let's go. And if they say no, I'm like, all right, first. I don't give a fuck, I want Khalil Mack. If you're the, like, honestly, if you're the Packers, how good is your first-round pick going to be? It's not going to be Khalil Mack, so fucking uh, just trade for him. I don't even know. I just saw a thing quickly that said something about the Packers and Khalil Mack, but it said, like, they why they should trade for him. They need to fucking trade for him. That's final. 